Alright, it is December 22nd. I'm right back in the same spot that I have been. Uh, this is the fourth night in a row here. On the ground in a little cedar thicket with my recurve. And it is coming down pretty good right now. It's been raining all day. But I think this is the last little cell. Should be out of here pretty soon. So hopefully as soon as it quits, the deer will want to get up and move a little bit. I've got the camera covered up right now. But yeah, you know, this spot, there's certainly luck involved with this deer getting in recurve range. I've been covered in the last two nights within compound range, just up the hill here. And right at last light, last night, he, he came into this little cove that I'm set up for. Just a little bit too fast and too late. I'd love for him to feed out this cove like he's done a number of times in the past. That's definitely my best shot. So we'll see what happens. But man, it's just, it's a fun chase. This is... It can be frustrating, of course, but it's not about the kill. This is this is what makes hunting fun for me. Is this chase trying to trying to get it done on on their terms, pretty much. Of course, I could grab a muzzle, or of course, I could grab my compound, but this is a fun chase and a fun hunt. So we'll see if he wants to read the script tonight I feel good about seeing him I mean there's of course a lot of ways that he can get past me without me seeing him you know with, with me being on the ground but we'll see what happens tonight
Well, what's that? That saying, the, uh, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. I'm not sure if I fall into that category yet or not, but it sure feels like deja vu every single time. Um, go out, set the same spot, he comes out and finds a way to not work uh, either in my lane or within range. Um, that's encounter number four in five hunts there. And tonight, um, you, he obviously came out a ways up the hill again like he has the last few times and then worked his way down to me but instead of cutting the corner um, towards the cove like he did last night he cut around the outside of it and it's crazy I mean I, I I have it's really hard to explain the setup I don't know if you can tell you know from the GoPro angle but I have a pretty good size shooting lane obviously I can't cut too much cover because you know I'm trying to hide at ground level you know close up to these deer but I got cover on my left cover on my right and uh he stood right behind the cover on my left probably at 15 yards um just feeding right there you know if he takes I don't know three four five steps um, towards the cove where the little buck was feeding I would have had a shot at him but he just he fed in one spot for a long time and then worked his way out towards the des destination food but that was that was the earliest he's come out um, in the last few hunts and probably the closest he's been to me as far as uh, me having a very clear look at him. The camera didn't have a clear look, but, um, and obviously I couldn't shoot through that stuff, but, you know, just so close ground level with a deer like that is, is just hard to describe. It's, it's pretty incredible. So I don't know um, what to do, whether to stay there. There is one tree close to where he stopped and stood for a long time or stopped and fed for a long time there's actually two smaller cedar trees that are kind of out by themselves away from the grove i could try that um you know he's he's walked around that corner a couple times now uh, and that would put me in range of that the only trouble is they are smaller and it's not a part of the grove so i would probably need to add some additional cover and anytime you do that you know, you, you take the risk that the deer accept it right away. Um, so I may have to sneak in there, kind of look and see what it looks like and make a decision from there. But I do feel like at some point he's going to walk by the spot I'm in. He has multiple times. It's just whether or not I want to keep sitting there over and over and over again until he does um, and risk burning it out and potentially you know miss out on opportunities elsewhere. I've said it before, this is definitely a priority of mine is to try to complete this recurve quest and this has turned into to quite the quest. I might be might be outmatched here, but you know, like I said earlier, this is this is fun to me. This is what hunting this is kind of the definition of it for me so i'm gonna stay after it uh appreciate you guys watching